when wannabe gangsters get checked by goons. Anyway, gangsters are supposed Jack. to be seen as thugs who don't back down from anything. But what happens when fake gangsters get caught by real gangsters? These are times when wannabe gangsters get put in their place. Starting with the wannabe gangster who was talking tough and dissing dead people online until he got caught and pressed by the deceased person's family members. Because the dude was obviously nah. feeling himself and trying to get some clout. So he uploaded no a video on the too. ground of a diss track he made. And not long after, the dude smoking, bruh. Like, who is you smoking? You're not smoking nobody. Why are you acting tough? Posted that he got caught and pressed for all the dissing he was doing. He definitely didn't keep that Look same energy when he got tempers. caught. Hey, you smoking on? You still smoking on Mikey? No. This is, this is karma. This is what you call I'm karma. On who your dead homies? Matter of fact, who your grandpa? You smoking on grandpa? Yeah, bro. You smoking on grandpa? Yeah, bro. Boy. Oh, no. Wait, he's standing on the dudes even made him lick the bottom of their shoe since they were pissed at the wannabe gangster for dissing on their people. That's nasty. Oh, lick the, no. lick my man forces. Nah, forces. I lick can't him. lie. Lick his force. Me personally, he, even if you're doing on this, if you're doing on this, you got to stand on business, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You not standing on business, bro. Lick it. Bro, lick that joint, bro. Lick, it, bro. Lick, bro. I'm not playing anymore. Okay, At least I'm, they're clean for it. I don't ever want to see you take a video. I want to see you rap none of that. Stop shit, bro. playing with real rap. All right, bro. Lucky I ain't and thankfully, they didn't harm the cult. It just made him apologize because things could have got way worse since people don't for take real. this in the dead lightly. And this next person had to find that out the hard way because a dude named GBO Gaston thought it would be a good idea to diss dead celebrities since he thought it would make him look gangster. Because after Nipsey Hussle passed away, he started clapping. Why are you going to. What did Nipsey Hussle do to you? RP Nipsey. What the hell? Claiming to be the one who took him out. Corny, he even took things so ass. far and threw a cup of urine on Nipsey's mural. Dead home where I'm at. You see the time and all that. 740 on a dead home. You see the piss? Finna throw piss on cut on a dead home. Yeah, he's cut. a porn bar, bro. Piss on cut. <laughs> dead homie. You, you already know he's one of those ones that just do anything for clout. Do anything for attention. Literally. Long after that, he allegedly went to Nipsey's grave and disrespected him again. It's been on cut grave, I really want to know head what head Nipsey head. did to this man, bro, because it's no headboard, because Cud not, like, no, they don't, don't want nobody to find it, so I'm like, homies, I'm a n***a, I'm a blur at Cud Grave, there's no n***a, know where this is at, right? Exactly. Gaston originally came up as a Minecraft YouTuber, but since it wasn't getting a buzz fast enough, see, he started. See, see, what did I say? What did Gaston I say? Corn ball. What did I say? It's like, I know, like, only corny ass is do this type of shit, bro. Originally came up as a Minecraft YouTuber, but since it wasn't getting Minecraft a buzz fast bro, enough, he started going crazy on social media, chasing clout and trying to look gangster. But people eventually got tired of all the trolling, and videos started going around showing what he's really like when someone really about that life catches him out. For example, one video shows someone spotting him in the street, and when they tried to press him, Gaston allegedly ran into the police station. And another dude called Gaston, it made him apologize for disrespecting Nipsey. Don't be dissing, this the game. This is so, I know, so ironic. Bro. That's the piece of all the. Say sorry, bro. Yep. Yeah. Weird. Your weird ass up. I'm good. Don't do it no more, bro. But things only got worse because some Hoovers caught Gaston in the street Ooh. a few weeks later and whooped them very badly because they were tired of all the trolling. Hopefully, Gaston goes back to gaming how he started off before the For real man. You should have started off. You should have stayed <laughs> stuck with Minecraft, bro. Said dissing dead rappers. Do you have nothing to do with? Go diss the freaking, what's that one nigga? The villager? Go diss that nigga, bro. Wrong person catches him and things get what out of hand. a creeper or something. Next dude uh, thought something, it would be a bro. good idea to act tough with the store employee. Since he knew the employee couldn't do much, but it wasn't a good idea. Because seconds later, a bigger dude came behind him and put him in his place for trying to put on a tough act. Hey, hey, I got something to blow your head off. Come with, come with, come with, come with. You better do better than that. You talking tough behind the counter though, right? And after the bigger dude pressed him, the fake tough guy completely changed his act up and tried to act like nothing ever happened. <laughs> hey man, listen, yeah, he knew he knew his limits though. You gotta respect it, bro. Knew his limits. There's some men you just can't, you know, tussle with, bro. He knew his limits. Hello. Hello. I'm the real deal. Come on, man. I'm 
Oh yeah, nah. Bro, big body for real. <laughs> I ain't testing that. <laughs> Look, bro, like bro, that. acting like he not there. <laughs> bro, acting like he not there. <laughs> bro, scared of this. Yo, he shitting himself. Hello, man. No. Everybody just call all the way down, man. <laughs> Where the attitude up, go? We got a wannabe gangster who tried pressing NBA young boy just since he's in front of a large crowd gonna, of people. Uh, and it didn't turn out. You want to test young boy? Because NBA nah, young boy. I want to test young boy. Not because it's young boy, but because of why be better stands. Like hell nah. <laughs> Telling in LA until a dude repping Bounty Hunter Watch Bloods tried to press YB. Yeah, you know he was YB down the street. It's not clear how it started. But young boy for and other dude for their god. Like that's literally their god started yelling back and forth with each other while young boy's partner held him back another video shows young boy and the dude yelling at each other again in another spot Young Wait, boy, wasn't young boy the one saying stop the violence? Where did that go? <laughs> was trying to get at the dude so they could throw hands, but the other dude wasn't really trying to make a move and just wanted to put on a tough act. But NBA young boy ain't the only one from the NBA crew who had to put a wannabe gangster in their place because young boy's homie D Dog and another dude were walking down the street when the guy with the camera came up and said, "I'm a real, what up? real street." What about D-Dog and his homie, who gang D, ain't know what was going on. And then the dude said, I, I like your chain. What that mean? Yeah, if you come with the, uh, somebody you say, I like your chain, that could only mean one thing, bro. It's about to be his chain now, buddy. I'm the original chain. Mean? I'm the original chain snatcher. All right. What the I'm a real street. Right. D-Dog and Who Gang D started walking off, but the camera guy started following them. D-Dog told him, Brother, as, as a prank, I'm a comedian. <laughs> hey, no, no, much love. Yeah, much love. You gonna, you gonna, you gonna no, oh, no, nah, God bless you. you, gonna, you, gonna, you gonna Martin Luther King. 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 Bro, I love you, brother. No, I'm not a comedian. My life. That's when the dude who was acting tough flipped the script and told him that he was a comedian since he quickly Bro's found out. Bro's pants is literally about to fall off, like... What's the point? D Dog and his homie weren't playing, and D Dog is the last person a civilian should try and mess with. He was arrested for a murder at 14 years old, and now Damn. he's been charged in an attempted murder case from 2018. When the cops tried to bring him in on the charge, D Dog got into a high speed chase that ended with him crashing and killing his homie, who was in the passenger seat. Police Whoa. found guns and a ski mask in the car, and now D Dog yeah, is sitting in jail on an insane $19.7 million bond. It's a good thing the wannabe gangster turned around and left when he did, because there's no telling. But is that what he look like? Dollar bond. Bro, it's a good like a thing to want to be gangster turn around and left. Oh hell no! Nah. Yeah, you got it. Bro. When he did, because there's no telling what would have gone down if he tried to keep acting tough with him. Now let's move on to this next dude who was trying to act too tough, and it didn't turn out as planned because the dude was trying to let everyone know that he's a killer and a real street dude. Yeah, he in a blood, a blood jacket. God damn. <laughs> is this a blood party? What's going on? For a, he, he put up in a blood jacket to the Christmas freaking festival. Damn. That'd be gangster everywhere he stepped. I'm telling y'all, God, bro. It seems like he was trying to scare the dude in the white jacket, but he wasn't really phased by him. So seconds later, he snatches up the dude and tells him he's going to walk him out of the building. Oh, man. I'm going to walk him out, bro. Hold on. I'm going to walk you out, man. I know something about that. And it doesn't seem like that was a good idea because this happens next. After getting smacked up, the dude who was putting on a tough act, whole mood changed. And he wasn't trying to do anything else oh, after what just happened. Yo, big see, yo, your size, it don't really correlate to your strength. I've realized that, bro. Happened. Because you would think he a big body, but he got uh, rocked. Allegedly. Man, look, look, he's let's move on to a dude from New York who's trying to act gangster and pick on an old dude outside of his apartment since he wanted to look hard in front of everyone. Because the dude walks up to the old guy and says he's gonna smoke yeah, him. Don't don't test the crackheads, man. I'm and even sorry. swings don't, at the older man that. for no reason. Is this supposed to be intimidating? Why do niggas do that? 
The older dude obviously didn't know why the dude was picking on him since he was just minding his business. But seconds later, after the wannabe gangster went inside the apartments, some real goons pressed him since they saw what he was doing and weren't happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why he looks completely why different now? Why are you picking on the old man? It could have been your fault. You bug it out. Now look at you, scared in the hallway, shaking. Pissing your pants. The wannabe gangster then tells the guy that he isn't trying to do anything since he already knew he had met his match and would have got did bad. You got it, bro. I don't want no harm. Next time I see you, you got it, bro. I don't want no harm. You picking on oh, the old man? I'm gonna beat you on up. Business. What young boy could do. Stop picking on old man. Next time I see you bullying somebody, I'm gonna f up. Cause you really, b you not even like that. You really butt. But that ain't the only time a wannabe gangster got checked for messing with someone weaker than them. Because this next dude was picking and punching on a disabled guy since he thought it'd make him look cool. So some dudes what? came up to him after he did this what, and tried making him guy? apologize. Stop punching your Muslim brothers. Especially the disabled ones. Are you going to apologize for your behavior earlier? We're disgusting. Who are you? We're disgusting. Terrible. You're violent. You're violent. Absolutely. You're violent. You're violent. You're smelling hold on, hold on. You're violent. You're smelling drugs. Yeah. Violent. You are no smelling life. drugs or selling drugs. I'm sorry. What is he trying to say? But no violence. I have no life. No violence. You punched a disabled man today. Am I violent now? You punched a disabled man today. Disabled man. Yes. The dudes were arguing with each other for a good minute until the dude tried to act tough and swing on one of the dudes. And from there, Ooh. it was an all-out brawl. And let's move on because this next dude he, he thought he was the guy's ass rock. Yo, how many how many people were there? One, two, three. Yo, one v three, bro. You stood no chance. Why would you try swing? He was just looking for violence. They're right. He likes violence. On one of the dudes, and from there, it was an all-out brawl. And let's move on because this next dude thought he was too tough and didn't want someone looking at him when walking. But it wasn't a good idea because he walks past the guy and asks him. You want me right. And I guess the dude took whatever he said Just as disrespect, looking for so he folded him up right after that. Uh, K.O. <laughs> He's standing on business. Now let's move on to Soldier Boy, because everyone knows Soldier Boy is a rapper who always tries to put on a super tough act to make it seem like he's about that Soldier life. Boy. Go die. <laughs> we not paint not nails. We standing on business. I'm, the, I'm one of the last straight rappers in the game. I'm one of the last straight rappers in the game. We promoting beef. We promoting violence. We not paying no. Okay, bro. Yeah, this is a hey for our youth, man. We not doing none of that. Y'all are raised in a good neighborhood, loving parents. No violence, bro. Stop the violence. Fingernail. You talking about? You talking about? Y'all could be brainwashed if y'all want to. Headshot. He talking hella. Talking about ARPs. Dracos, five sevens, Glocks, hollow tips, switches. The many rappers who beef with Soldier Boy in the past are now dead. And even though Soldier has nothing to do with these deaths, he still made it seem like he was some untouchable demon. And one day, Say Cheese asked Charleston White why he thinks all of Soldier Boy's ops die after their beefs. And Charleston made a complete joke about it. Every rapper that Soldier Boy had been expose him. the past two, three years all passed away. Young Dog, Draco the Ruler. Uh, trouble. Um, Soldier Boy spoke out on that after Trouble passed. He said, "You went out like ho my ops don't exist no more." I ain't. I Soldier Boy. The Crunchy Black said he was a punk. Yeah, Crunchy Black still real. Yeah, yeah. The Crunchy Black talk real bad about. Let me listen. I go shit, huh? I want to remind Soldier Boy, you ain't got no mother ops. After Soldier Boy saw this interview, he went live and went off on Charleston White and Say Cheese, asking who gave them permission to speak on his name. Say Cheese, no jumping. DJ Vlad, suck my. Bro, bro thinks he's beefing the entire industry like Soldier. You must be doing this for promo. Ain't no way. DJ Vlad, you. No jumper. He's smiling as he's Say doing cheese, it too. He knows what he's doing. He's not serious. Oh He's not. A month after this small back and forth, Charleston was out shopping with his crew in Miami when Soldier Boy and 11 other dudes pulled up in a Sprinter van and approached Charleston, claiming they just wanted to talk things out. A few words were exchanged, and once things started to heat up, Charleston pulled out his pepper spray and hit Soldier Boy and some of his crew members with oh, it. Oh, I want to see the, the footage, bro. Charleston show? went live and confirmed that the rumors going around were true. Hey, 
Yeah. What's up, Blake? One more time, just for goodness sake. Like, <laughs> no way he hit Soldier with a little pepper spray, bro. I need to see that. Man, Charles man, in the goat? Now nah, he I is. Unk the goat, bro. This man right here. Jail. <laughs> Put on Benny's. After Charleston did too. that, Soldier Boy went on live explaining how Charleston was scary for using pepper spray. You is so scared of me. Wait, but did he just say oh, I got Glocks? All that F is like, bro, pipe down. Gotta pull out pepper spray out your purse. Running with pepper spray. What the? You gotta be with pepper spray, bro. That's crazy. This was gangsters. But after the situation, many rappers and fans spoke on it, saying Soldier Boy got what he deserved, since he always tries to act too gangster. Like so Cream tweeted, y'all better leave Charleston White alone before his old put one of y'all on a shirt. But Soldier Boy mm. isn't the only known person who always acts tough and gets embarrassed. You gonna be 6'9"? Oh! Perfect, the Island Boys. Perfect. The Island Boys <laughs> are also known for always Perfect trying to example. act gangster in the street. So one dude spotted one of the Island Boys out in public by himself, and his energy wasn't the same as how he acts online. When you come to this city, you gotta check on me. This is before he had all the tattoos on his face, or what? Yeah, you gotta check in. Bob. Are you still asking? It don't matter. It don't matter. When you come, you gotta check on me. Unless talking online, I really be doing that out here for real. You feel me? Look, I thought you was living some type of way in real life, though. Nah, they pussy, like bro. You say you gangster everywhere you go, right? No, but you say you was gangsters, all right? Yeah, I feel you. And stop trying Enzo, too. Now, I ain't never seen no gangster wear a turtleneck. <laughs> Y'all seen that? Thankfully, things didn't get too out of hand in this situation. But I can't say the same about this one dude who shot at the cops while on IG Live. What? Or the dude who smoked one of his ops and bragged about it on live. So click this video to see the seven craziest shootings on IG Live. I'm gonna have to watch that next, I ain't gonna lie.